guys. So it's Wednesday. We're back in the room, getting ready. Was on Pinterest today, kind of pinning some ideas for the pantry. So we're gonna finish the pantry before we move on to the rest of the room. Um, if you watched our videos for Monday, that closet is empty and I just moved all of the stuff out of the pantry, which sadly enough is all in my kitchen which means this pantry is gonna need to get done. Because I don't know how long I can put up with that mess. But it's okay. We are usually pretty good about working around it. Been feeling like we've done it for the last three years. So we are starting with, I took all the shelves out. Three of them were like a particle board. So we took those to the trailer to take to the dump. Two of them were actually wood boards. So I kept them. Um, they're in okay condition. They're a little bowed, but if I want to cut them down to make smaller shelves, I have them there. Um, it was all set up braced with these wood and since it's already pre-cut, um, we're going to keep them. So I'm trying to be super careful taking them down. Um, and then our next step will be to take the last accordion door off and then this, the frame for it. The sliding frame um, and then all of the paneling that's in this I redid this pantry like two and a half years ago um, just to kind of brighten it up it was super dark because it was the paneling colors you can clearly see I didn't like take the shelves off for anything or the braces off to paint I just paint over um, the hard thing is with it being the paneling it like absorbs paint so that's probably like four or five coats of white paint i um, excited to get this going. Um, would love to hear your pantry ideas. This is going to be a pretty big walk-in area pantry. Um, and it's funny, we didn't have intentions to do this when we redid the kitchen, but now we're creating this into a pantry. Um, and it's gonna be great. And I know that one of the things that I'm gonna need in this pantry is a place to hang all of my Swiffers, brooms, mops, everything, vacuum, all of that's gonna to need to be in here. Um, as well as food storage and bowls and the small appliances that didn't fit in the kitchen. May move the coffee bar in here. So just a lot of ideas going on in my brain. Um, so leave those ideas in the comments let's get to work well I got all of the braces done except the two high ones leave those for the husband also got the first little layer of well the first piece of paneling off on this side I've determined that there's not much more that I can do without the husband here only because I don't like to get up on the ladders and pry stuff because I'm afraid I'm gonna fall and even though I'm not that far from the ground still kind of worries me so I'm gonna go look up more things to do in this pantry super excited also did a Walmart grocery pickup for the next two weeks um, spent about an hour and a half doing that so I gotta pick that up in a little while too um, definitely making progress I guess I didn't do much I also got up on the ladder tried to stand up hit my head on that and now my nose is running <laughs> I guess I knocked some some blockage up or something in my head. I don't know. Who knows? All I know is all of the, the stuff we're stirring up from like probably 60 year old dust is makes me sneeze when I come in here. Um, but we'll do some more when my husband gets home on in here. Well guys, just got back from picking up my Walmart order. Was going through the receipt and everything and they almost had it right. I don't always have the best luck with Walmart grocery pickup, but 
I did it anyways. I did about two weeks worth of groceries. Um, and also some fun little snacks to make with fruit and yogurt and stuff like that. So, um, lots of veggies and everything. Well, I was going to make some strawberry jelly or jam and ordered four pounds of strawberries. I ordered two two pound cases of strawberries and they gave me two one pound. Um, <laughs> so... I guess they just didn't pay attention to the amount. I'm gonna call customer service. It's only four bucks. Um, and I mean, some of these look like some of the strawberries got ate out of it anyways, but no, it's okay. Other than that, they did a great job. I did have some substitutions, so they didn't have the big bag of mozzarella, so they gave me two little bags. Didn't have the big thing of creamer, so they gave me two creamers. Um, didn't have, and it was funny, I put chicken thighs in my basket, I put a, two big packs, and, or no, I put the three smaller packs, the like two to four pound packs, is how they have it listed, and they told me they didn't have those in stock, so I put in the four to eight or six pound packs, and just did a smaller number. And it's funny, they substituted me for the smaller packs. <laughs> and I was like, well, but okay. Um, I'm trying to think. Oh, this is hilarious. So they try to get stuff that's close to your price of what they're subbing. So I normally get Blue Bonnet butter. Well, apparently they didn't have Blue Bonnet butter in the little five, 15 ounce containers. So they gave me two of these 45 ounces, two of them. So it's like 90 ounces for the same price as the 15 ounce of blue bonnet that I was ordering. So I have a ton of butter. I'm not gonna run out of butter anytime soon. Um, let me kind of just show you, ignore my dirty dishes. So I do have a full sink of dishes. Um, I need to have the teenager empty. Um, my dishwasher but this all includes like two of Drake's meals so those videos will be out videos out in the one next week and one the following week and then I have a bunch of stuff over here ignore my like I said ignore my dirty kitchen real life all of the fun stuff yummy green beans bell peppers sweet peppers um, string cheese creamer, lots of chicken breast, or chicken thighs, ground turkey, lots of ground turkey, turkey bacon, ground beef, lots going on here, lots of yummy meals. We're going to, we're trying about seven new recipes, all healthier, more vegetables, um, gluten-free products, stuff like that. Um, Jess was trying to insert some variety. Um, now I got to put all this stuff away, which is no fun but still encourage you guys if you're looking to not have to get out into the store and that's what I was trying to do is limit the amount of time um, I'm in stores and Fridays are usually my days to get out and go to the grocery store and sometimes I spend three to four hours in and out small st stores and with just the rise of the lovely COVID-19 in my area um, just want to limit the amount I'm in stores in in actually in a store so I did grocery pickup um, but that's my grocery haul it was about hundred and ninety dollars which isn't bad for two weeks worth of food including snacks um, lots of veggies stuff like that it's really about what I spend on a normal basis anyways the only thing I didn't get is everybody is been drinking so much soda 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 or sparkling water anything like that and didn't buy any of that um really want everybody to drink water out of the fridge or the sink or damien's got money so he spent his own money on soda so i'm sure my husband will get some eventually but i wasn't gonna buy it to encourage myself not to drink it so we're gonna get all this put away well guys it's almost nine o'clock phone was on the charger so I didn't get any of the footage of us finishing taking down all of the pan
paneling. But we have it all down. There's some of it leaned up against the wall, but I promise it's not attached to the wall. I, 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 don't, I don't even know what's going on here, but this will be fun to do. That is going to be, that's the pantry. We have to get some mm, reciprocating saw blades for metal. Right now we only have the wood ones, but we need to cut through these nails so that we can reuse these two by fours. Um, I have determined that this pantry is going to be massive, um, but my husband reassures me that it's not gonna be that bad once we put stuff once we put the shelves and stuff in, but it's gonna be huge. Um, definitely interesting how they've kind of just pieced sheetrock together and laid the paneling over it. I get it. I get what the rage was back then because it was easy. You just threw it up there and you really didn't have to worry about it. So, we loaded everything that we could in our trailer. Um, it'll go to the dump in about a week unless my husband gets to go in maybe late one day. I don't know, we'll see. But definitely progress was made. Unfortunately, working with my husband and my son, they are so messy of this sheetrock everywhere. Um, we did not put sheetrock outside on the trailer. It'll go later because we don't want to take a chance of having a rainstorm and it getting really gross. Um, but we've had that happen in the past and it's just a pain in the butt. But should be able to come in here with like if I can get some boxes or something, maybe I can order something on Amazon and get it in a pretty decent sized box and just start dumping some of this sheetrock in boxes. It's just easier to transport that way. Um, but yes, progress was made. I'm tired, but we are super excited about what's to come. Um, made the decision and apparently my husband had already made the decision that we are pretty much gonna work this way that way so we'll have to finish the pantry do the pantry first completely and then move on to the bedrooms because there's just stuff everywhere but it's gonna be a whole lot of fun it's gonna end up looking great um, I'm super excited um, was on Pinterest looking for ideas for pantries as well as the kids' room and kind of taking some measurements for furniture for their room. Um, but it'll be great. It will. It'll be great. But progress was made. We've got a whole slew of kind of hot mess that we'll have to deal with, but one day at a time. So you guys have a great day and maybe we'll see you guys tomorrow.